this side, this side, this, 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 and this. That's first. The top piece, second. And in that way, when you're handling your radio, your palm, when it's moving this way, it's not pulling the sticker up, it's pushing it down, which is better for the for the life of the of the sticker. So we'll start with this piece first. Just familiarize yourself with the radio transmitter. Uh, go back here. You should be cleaning your radio if you if it's used. Get those oils off the radio if you can. piece in here just get it close and you want to get it so that the sticker lines up with just the edge the middle part of the radio like if you were to crack it open you just want to put it above the line there put your thumb in here and then you can move this back and forth until you're happy with it couple mal malfunctions with the charger for the GoPro so we'll just continue okay so as I was saying we need to put this piece right here lining it up but what I didn't notice was that I left the gap there so gently peel this back give yourself some room you might have to hug your radio a little bit There you go. And then just pinch the corner and just try to follow that line. And then same thing on here. You can see that. And use your thumb just to push down the sticker. And don't worry if it doesn't sit. We'll add some heat after when we're done the install. Or just before we put the top piece, we'll heat up the edges here and they'll just basically conform to the radio move on to the next piece this guy and the same thing line yourself up right there and you can see that I'm following that line and I've also given myself some space right here and see that it just follows the line nice and straight all the way through now like I said before don't worry about the the edge going down on here because we'll just put some heat on it afterwards and it'll just it'll just conform real nice right there a little over more and I mean this is, you can get as picky as you want on this uh, it'll work out lift it up a little bit you might have to overlap a little bit right there same thing right here and that's why I put those relief cuts right there so that you can just not have to struggle with it so there you go Okay, this guy, I'm actually going to put it from this side. You don't have to put it from this side, but I like to put it on this side because I know that I'm covering or matching, butting up to here. So you're either going to get length on here or you're going to be long on here, but it doesn't matter since it's camouflage and it's abstract, it doesn't matter whether I overlap or not when I come to this side here. And then again, follow the line. So you can see, see how, see how I'm coming in like this? Right there. Use your thumb. If it gets away on you, just move it a little bit. There's a relief cut here, relief cut here, one down here. And again, use your thumb.
so here I am just making sure I follow the lines you don't have to be perfect you, this here will fit real nice so you can line yourself up with this right here then you can eyeball it right in here if you wanted to hit go back a little bit you can uh, it's not a big deal use your thumb to basically follow it through now see this one here kinda walked away on me a little bit see it's kinda tight here and it's a little further away from the dial so what you can do is just gently pull back <clears throat> and then just basically walk it back a little bit there you go and with your thumb you can just push it off there You'll see a couple wrinkles there, but the heat will get rid of that. That's a better fit. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of heat. Your heat, you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, put too much heat, especially in this area here in the monitor. I don't want you to fry your screen, so don't go crazy with the heat. Light heat, going back and forth like this. You don't need much. And you just rub your finger down, and you can just feel any edges that are lifted. And you can just bring them down like you can just literally just flick them up and they'll come down for you right there if they're a little stubborn just a little bit more heat there you go Try not to burn yourself when you put this down. This will be hot. You can use a hair dryer too. Um, <clears throat> it just it might you might need to hold it for a little longer. It's not as hot as a as a regular uh, heat gun. There you go. So that was all wrinkled and everything right on top. But with just a little bit of heat, you can pretty much just put dab your finger on it, and you're good to go. <clears throat> Just look for any lifted corners, if there's any. <clears throat> and make sure you do this before you use it because <clears throat> the moment you use it, and let's say you were being a little lazy, you didn't feel like using a heat gun, and you had an edge that was lifting a little bit, what will happen is dirt will eventually build up in that area, and then the sticker no longer sticks. So it's a good, it's a good idea to just add a little bit of heat. Uh, it just makes things everything way better. Just feels real nice and smooth. All the edges are all down. You can feel it with your thumb. You want to get these uh, customized. You want. Uh, you don't want a TBS logo for some reason. You want your own logo or your company logo or something on here. I can do that for you. I can put it on the back. I could put it in the front here in this area or on the sides or even in here. So for some of you guys that are you know that have companies and you want to advertise and you want to have a nice sticker on the side. I know you probably have your own stickers, but you know why double up when it could be just in the print as well. Um, 
you know even your company logo and your address and everything or even a pilot name too that's cool okay so this next big piece it's fairly big so just be gentle with it and make sure that you you're ready to hold it so here it is in two hands and what I like to do is I like to fold this part here I start with this uh, your um, lanyard holder hole and I like to line that up right there and I want to work myself over like that and make sure that I'm gonna get be lined up so you don't have to press anything down yet and you check if you're around your buttons check if you're on your buttons here it looks like I might be a little bit low there so I take my sticker lift it just a little bit and slowly guide it up a little bit like that and that's a little better fit and then if it still doesn't suit you you can just keep lifting it and working it up until you're happy the way it sits I like to kind of make the sticker um, lift up from the back so it's lifting up on this side here but I'm trying to basically guide the sticker to sit down in this area here like that and you're slowly working any creases out that way let's just do that And that's how easy that is without having to fight the creases and then you just pull it down you know it'll be the heat there staying away from the screen remember that's really important stay away from the screen push the buttons down so then that way the sticker actually goes down re-add this the heat again And I still have a crease, so that's fine. So you can get a little more aggressive with it where you're just pushing real, just like that. And there's the edge there. Follow the edge, push it down. So, like I said, you don't need too much heat. You just gotta quickly in and out. And just work the sticker to go down. And sometimes when you, this is a perfect example, sometimes you'll add a little bit too much heat in an area where you forgot to push down the, the sticker. So with a pick or something to basically grab the sticker, try not to use your fingers because your fingers have oils in them. Um, especially the small pieces, like the big pieces, that's fine. But the little pieces, they, they tend to get uh, oiled up pretty quickly, easily. So just where you like it there. 
And because I use heat and I didn't lay the sticker down, the sticker tends to want to, uh, uh, it, it, it almost kind of like shrinks a little bit. So it does this little motion. So it, it deforms itself and it looks bad, but it's actually nothing wrong with it. It's just a matter of making sure that you don't put a bunch of heat and then just slam it all down without actually paying attention to if it's laying down in the right spot for you or not. Once you're happy with it, you're good to go. Now, if you made a blunder, let's say you you put the whole sticker just like actually like I did. Um, and this guy here is it's basically there's a spot in here that just won't flatten down for you. The easiest thing that you can do is you take an exacto knife you go underneath cut up and then push the piece down and then overlap this piece over you won't even know that you cut it but it's it's way easier than trying to pull it put it down pull it put it down uh, here I'm pretty sure I can save this one and this was because I wasn't paying attention to the corner and it looks goofy right now but when I add heat again You see that those piece, those things are gone, and you can't even tell that we were reworking that area. And there's a little bit of a air bubble there, and you can see that I just got rid of it just by pressing down on it. And make sure the inside pieces here they get a little bit of heat because this area here is it's hard to bend down just by just by hand so by adding the heat it just makes it super easy and if you're still like not confident you can just use your credit card and just go to the edge lay that lay that edge down and it'll stay there 20 bucks a little bit of an upgrade a little customization for you guys no one walks away with the same gray controller or any other radio. Uh, I also do goggle wraps. And uh, yeah, hit me up if you want something custom. Like the video, share it, show some people. By doing this, this keeps me going in the hobby. And I really appreciate you guys' support. So thank you so much for watching.